we should use this. There we go. And in. Oh yeah. Turn that down. I'm not gonna put a habanero in right now because I'm not in the mood for the fumes to be in my face. So I'm gonna wait till it cools a little bit before I add the habanero. I'm not using a frying pan, but more so a saucepan because I'm really gonna start filling this pot up in a little bit. And get that in. Next up. I'm gonna stop here real nice. There we go. And let me just say that smells amazing. And let me just say that smells amazing. I don't know if I said that earlier, but I want to include it. Now that we got our onions caramelized in the pot nicely, we got our peppers cut up. We want to go ahead and get the curry sauce started. All right, always remember that you want to check your grits pot. You don't want your grits to turn into a brick unattended. Some elbow grease in there. There you go. Stir the pot. All right, grits look good. Onions look good. Uh, coconut milk. Probably gonna end up adding about a quarter cup to a half cup of coconut milk to this sauce when we get done. I gotta shake it in. Alright. That's good. Stir that up. We want to start to add our curry powder. I have about a tablespoon of curry powder left. Again, I like to season things to taste and not exactly to the measurement. that up. Beginnings of our curry sauce. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil to this along with a little bit of butter. Olive oil check. I want to say about a tablespoon of butter is what I'm going to add. Get our butter going. Actually, we'll do a half tablespoon half tablespoon of butter nice and delicious get all that nice and stirred in tablespoon of our curry powder. I uh, got our onions caramelized. We got our garlic in here as well. Just want to shake things around. I'm going to go ahead and drop my habanero in. It's a good time to get the habanero in the mix because we want to get most of the flavor out of the habanero. Not all of it, but most of it. All right. I think I'm going to go ahead and add my sweet peppers. I'm going to cover my saucepan so my curry can cook, make sure the flavor is right. Uh, in the meantime, I guess I'll go ahead and find something else to do. Now that all this is done, what do I do? Well, I drink. <laughs> Today's entertainment is brought to you by Amstel. Amstel Light. <laughs> go ahead and give me a nice Amstel Light. A lemon. Any light beer is good. Lemon cut up. Let me just use a nice little sliver today. I like lemon in my beer. Get that squeezed in. Bam! All right. Mm -mm -mm. That is good. 
Okay, so sauce is ready. We're about ready to go ahead and add our curry. Not our curry, we're going to add our shrimp so we can get that moving along. I'm going to go ahead and check on the grits one last time. And right now our grits are ready. So we just got to get the curry on its way. I'm going to put it on low, make sure my grits don't dry out. Might add a little bit of butter just to keep it happy. It smells amazing. It looks amazing too. And as you remember, we had this shrimp out earlier. I'm going to go ahead and I get it poured in, stir it up a little bit. We had some crushed red pepper in here, some onions, a little bit of curry on top of that with some coconut milk. So that's all nicely mixed in here. Put it in the fridge, all our flavors came together. The sauce is ready. It's going to cook for a little bit longer. Put the heat up on that. Just to get our shrimp where it needs to be. Everything should be perfectly balanced. Now that we add in this. And that looks spectacular. Spectacular! Stir that up. There we go. Stir that up. Thanks we stirred. I'm going to cover the pot. I'm going to add a little bit more coconut milk for good measure. Just a tad on top. Love that coconut milk. Cover the pot. I'm going to go ahead and let the shrimp cook. It's not going to take long to cook the shrimp because it's already cooked. So once we just go ahead and get our nice consistency going, get all our flavors mixed, we're going to be ready to serve. I'm going to go ahead and take the time to cut up my green onions because I'm going to use these today as garnish on top. Our curry shrimp is nicely cooked down. Our sauce is nice and thick. We should probably go ahead and take out this pepper. It's probably a little too late for all the people that didn't want the pepper. It's optional. Remember that you don't have to add a habanero pepper. But I did. Um, my curry sauce is ready to go. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to add the last of my sweet bell peppers because I want to keep these crunchy in the process. Okay? So these will not cook very long at all. The only purpose of me adding these sweet bell peppers again is just for consistency and texture. You get your shrimp that's nice and soft, you get your grits nice and soft. When you bite in, you'll get that nice crisp crunch. All right. So in fine style, you know, you always want to make sure you get everybody served. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, get myself served on this one. Here we go. I think I like this bowl. This is my favorite bowl. Now, yes, they both look alike, but this is my favorite bowl. How do I know? I don't know. But this is it. <laughs> Ah, there we go. Are oh, we gonna scrape the pot today? Let's get that ready. There we go. Let's get our curry added. Nice, beautiful chunks of curry and shrimp. Just let it run. Yeah. I like that. Alright. Just let it run all over the place. Set that down. Same thing again. Add in the wonderful green onions. So oh, look, I found me a little bell pepper. Let's add that to, you know. And pretty much curry shrimp and grits. Enjoy. Thank you all for hanging out on I Cook, You Cook. Send me your suggestions. Anything you want to see me cook, anything you want to see me try, I'll be glad to try it. Today was Curry Shipping Grits. We don't know what we're going to do tomorrow, but I hopefully you guys stay tuned. Take care.
Check, check. We got to turn it to fire. 